Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, it's a giant art haul. If you are a subscriber to my channel, I think you know very well by now that it was my 40th birthday in December. And in addition to going on an awesome shopping spree with my husband, anyone who knew me pretty much got me a wonderful gift card for art supplies. And so I went to town yet again, cause I can always get more art supplies. And this time I have plans. I might need my scissor. Let's see. Oh no, I can do it. Hulked out. Ooh, what could it be? That might give it away. <laughs> so those are my little half pans. And this should be a watercolor palette. Let me get my scissor. My plan for this is I ordered some granulating watercolors. I know I'm kind of late to the game, but here's what happened. I watched a Natasha Newton video on the Schminka Forest series granulating watercolors. Why can I not figure this out? Oh, wow, that was like way easier than I was making it. <laughs> and I fell in love because as you know, how I feel about green and the forest series is green. Look how pretty. Let's get it out of the plastic. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. This is just a beautiful palette from Meaden. It came with all of these half pans so I can fill them up. It feels really heavy. It feels really sturdy. That feels good. And it's just super pretty. I just thought it was so, so, so pretty. I mean, yeah, I think you can see it a little better there. So yeah, it has room for 24 pans. I'm collecting all of my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, granulating watercolors as they come in. I'm not opening them. I'm just putting them aside. That's why they're not part of this haul. And when they're all here, I'll do a haul with just my granulating watercolors and I'll make my watercolor palette with this palette. So that's gonna be a future video. That should be super fun. Keep your eye out for that. It's actually gonna be a theme you'll see in, as I'm unboxing. A lot of the things I got, I was already obviously doing this channel when I spent my gift cards for my birthday. And so I kept in mind what would be a cool video in addition to what do I just kind of want to try. So this is another example. I got the Amazon Basics version of Posca pens. And one of the reasons I did this is because I've been obviously getting much more into Posca pens. How do you open this? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I've been getting much more into Posca pens just generally. I really like using them in my multimedia practice. And so I bought some more, you'll see in a second, some more Posca pens from Michaels with one of my Michaels gift cards. But I also was just really interested in these. They're only $11 on Amazon. And if they're good, obviously that will be a huge deal and I'll wanna be able to tell you about it and see if I can recommend them. Okay, so there's just like a super bright orange, a super bright yellow, a really pretty blue. To give you a comparison, these are the two blues I have from actual Posca. At the very least, that'll work really well together. I've got a white, which I can compare directly with my white Posca. I've got a purple, a pink, a bright green, like a crayony green and a really standard pretty red. So that is what they look like. Very similar, obviously, it's clearly trying to bite on Posca's style. There's the tip, it's like an extra fine. You pump, pump, you guys probably think I'm nuts for doing this on my finger here. <laughs> shake, 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 pump, pump, pump. I see it's starting to come through. The so what we'll do is do some swatches of all of them, but I just wanted to show you quickly how that would work out of the gate. And yeah, I mean, $11 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. These are anywhere from three to $4 a piece each. So, I mean, that is a very good deal if those are good, but we'll see if they're good. I also ordered another 36 set of a whole other brand that I'm working with to see if I like their brand and we can do a three-way comparison. So that should be cool. And actually, you know what? Oh yeah, I got these sketchbooks from Michaels also with my gift card, but I didn't want to put them in this bag with the other stuff because I didn't want them to squish. They're soft cover. 
They feel so good. 64 pages, 90 pound paper. It's 190 GSM. It's kind of an off-white paper. It has a little bit of texture. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it is really lovely to work in. I filled one and I loved it. So I'm, I got two more when I had the chance because they are a little bit expensive, the Strathmore. So if I have, I had coupons, I had cash back. I used a lot to get these, you know, pretty cheap. So they're awesome. And I definitely think I would put one of these. I'll probably put one on this one and one on this one. I'll just leave them there so I know that's where they're going. <laughs> that's gonna be so cute. Okay, so that's those. Last Amazon package, and then we'll do the Michaels bag. I've been holding Amazon out packages. on buying this for so long. Oh, it's okay. That is so, oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me get it out of its plastic. You probably know what this is. In fact, you all probably have it. <laughs> I love this size. Look at the sketchbook versus here. Let me move some of this stuff. Look at the sketchbook versus this palette. That is so cute. So this is the Kuretake Gonzai Tombi watercolor set. It's a pretty, it, you know, comparatively small one. Cause I, you know, I don't need any more watercolors at all, but I just couldn't resist. They're so beautiful. And I thought, you know, Birthday gift card, that's the time that I would buy these. That's what it took. Look how creamy they look. I can't wait to use those two colors. Just straight. That colors just look stunning. I can't wait to test them. I definitely will fill out this card. The reason I wasn't getting them is because they don't have a mixing area. But now that I kind of use palettes in my studio anyway with all the gouache I use, I don't mind that. And this is just such a pretty... Oh, it's just... It's so much fun it is so much fun to have stuff like this it's just like with my gorgeous 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 sui gouache palette these two i'm gonna leave these out i'm gonna leave these on my desk because they're just pretty to look at oh i can't wait to use that so yeah it has let's see i can't even remember it's been so long since this came and i was just holding it aside to do one big haul 24 colors it has a good selection of reds it looks like it probably has a good selection of blues, a lot of greens, which I'm a fan of. Some people wouldn't like that, but I'm a thrilled because I love green. And yeah, it looks like it has some neutrals. So we'll, we'll do a swatch of that together momentarily. But how pretty is that? Can we just take a minute to look how aesthetic that is for your watercolor and your gouache? I have to just, oh, I, I cannot wait to use these together. That's definitely another video. That will be a video. Love it. Okay, I'm here from the future and I have to tell you, yes, it has a beautiful range of blues. It does have a lot of different greens. That The yellow ochre has beautiful granulation. That ultramarine pale, it actually, it's, it's not as opaque as I thought it would be, but the color actually reminds me of the actual Liquitex that got me to get so many more Liquitex bottles for this haul. That color is so similar. It's just a gorgeous color. So I can't wait to use that. I also can't wait to use the green right next to it, the malachite. That is also a beautiful sea foam color. It's just, ooh, it's stunning. So a lot of these colors just have beautiful granulation and I just can't wait to use them. And I'll just give you a quick close up of the colors that I swatched. The swatch session itself will be at the end of the video, but just look at some of these colors. Like that one looks like a Payne's gray, but it's called indigo. And I would mix that with maybe the burnt sienna to make, or this black to make an even more pretty gray, like a pure gray. Oh, it's just gonna be so much fun to use these. These color, I just can't stop looking at them. Look how beautiful the texture is. That'll be fun. And I also just wanted to show you, you do get a lot of paint. These are actually, I mean, I'll call them full pans, but they're actually bigger than traditional full pans that you would get in a normal, you know, if you ordered a full pan. They're not as full, you can see, but it's just such a pleasure to dip your brush into such a huge surface area. These are just so wonderful and such a pleasure to work with. That was the biggest takeaway I had from the swatch session was I just loved it. I loved the experience. It was tactilely speaking, such a wonderful experience. And each of these little, <laughs> I was going to call them ramekins. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot the word full pan or the words full pan. I just used them, but I'm going to write the name of the colors on these in case they get 
mixed around on the bottom and on the side because they do move around really easily and the dark colors like if it were to move around in here the dark colors are kind of hard to tell apart just by looking at them but yeah they're beautiful so easy to re-wet love these colors it was such a fun experience to use these paints Okay, finally we have the Michaels bag, the actual bag. So what happened was I had recently gone on that shopping spree, like I said, and I'd bought paints, like I'd bought some of those Liquitex paints, but I did love the soft body acrylic and I immediately wanted more. I've been using this. I made the cutest stinking painting probably of my whole life, at least in my opinion with this. I have the video ready. I'll probably post it next right after this, but that making that piece with this, I that was it. I was obsessed and I had to get more. So I got the Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic in Burnt Sienna. I got Liquitex Soft Body Acrylic in Natural Gray 5. Natural or neutral? Neutral. <laughs> neutral Gray 5. Love a gray. I got this pretty color. This is the Light Portrait Pink. Just loving the light colors. It's such a pretty color. Like, look at these. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm like getting off track, but look at these together. Don't you just want to paint? Does that not make you want to paint? You just want to paint when you see this. <laughs> Don't tell me it's just me. Don't believe you. Oh, this got cruddy. I wonder how this got cruddy. I hope something's not open in here. Then I got this ultramarine red shade, but it's like got cruddiness on the cap. I don't know why. I'm worried we're going to find out in a minute when I keep going through this bag. Like I said, I've been hoarding this to do one giant haul instead of just harassing you with a bunch of little ones. This is peach. So pretty. Again, just such a pretty color. I got Napsol Crimson. This and the Ultramarine, I'm just thinking for mixing. That's what that looks like. I feel like I didn't show you the burnt sienna underside, so I'll show you that. I got, ooh, pretty. I got this brilliant purple. That light purple, light violet, whatever, was so pretty. I decided, apparently, I'm a purple person, at least for backgrounds. I'm two more, don't worry. I didn't go, I mean, I did go crazy, but not too crazy. I didn't buy the whole store. <laughs> I wanted to. Bright aqua green gorgeous color last but not least for these paints the yellow medium azo so these three these three are going to be my mixing colors so that should be interesting we can do a color wheel today you can see how i kind of get to know my materials then like i said when i went to michael's i got some more posca pens so, and actually, these are a gift. I mean, so again, these are a gift, but there's this green. This one's called light green. This one is called cream, I believe, beige. Beige. I just thought an off-white would be nice. There's this gold one, metallic gold. I think that'll be cool. This is silver one. Same idea. <laughs> a really pretty green. And this one obviously is a, a finer tip. That one's a medium tip. And two more fine tips. I got fuchsia and lilac. I've just been loving doodling with these and doing stuff not even for you guys, but just for myself in my sketchbook with these. They're so much fun to play with. So I got those. And now this is my actual Posca pen set. I wonder if they'll all even fit. Jeez, maybe I'll take the metallics out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's fine without the metallics. I'll just leave them, because I have this metallic pen. I'll just keep all of these somewhere else. So those are my Poscas. Delicious. And then finally, I had ordered so many gouache paints, and I filled this adorable little palette, this little stay wet palette in my very first haul, big haul video. And I had ordered a bunch of gouache and I literally forgot that I'd also ordered these and they just came late because it's Blick. And I don't know if you've ever had this with Blick, but they'll just send it to you like 
months after you order it if it was on back order. And I guess these were on back order, neutral gray three. So that's funny because I have this neutral gray five, but that's, this is um, acryl. This is acrylic. This is not, this is traditional gouache from Windsor and Newton. And this one is perylene violet. So these are really, I love this brand of gouache. They're so much fun to use. So I will swatch these out too. Another present that I got, it was actually part of a secret Santa, um, were these two sets of canvases. So there's, and you'll probably see the reflection, but that's okay. There's this 18 by 24 set of two canvases and this 11 by 14 set of two canvases. And then I got this Arches watercolor paper. I'm so excited. Last time I went <laughs> on the spree, I got the Fabriano studio paper. And one of you commented that that's the studio, not the Artistico. So it's not the super professional one. And this was on sale at Michael's. So when I went in with my gift card, I saw this. I had no plan of getting this. But once I saw that it was on sale, I was just like, I have to try it. I'm really excited. Knowing that I own my first Arches pad, I feel like uh, so legit, like way legit people. It is 300 GSM, 140 pound watercolor paper. It's a block. It is cold pressed and it's only 12 sheets in this pad, but I'm really excited for that 10 by 14 inch size. On the canvases, I'm actually nervous because I have not painted on a canvas since I was a kid. Like we're talking eight, nine, 10 years old when I used to do oil paints as a kid. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for those. I honestly can't wait to gesso them. The weather has just been really bad and I want to do it outside. So when the weather is nice, I'm going to gesso all four of them. So they're just ready to paint on when the mood strikes me. I'm going to want to play on the bigger one with I don't know what. Like I honestly don't even know. Maybe the Liquitex soft body acrylic. I have a red bubble shop, an art shop and I order my own stuff just to make sure it's good. And I put a bunch of new designs and I'd never ordered certain size stickers and stuff. So I got a couple of different packages from them. I ordered a note card. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. And you can like see the texture, the paint texture. That's cool. Blank on the inside. It says Sharpay birthday and my creating cute shop with the address for my shop on the back. And it has this really cute little envelope. That is really pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> I got a mask. That is really soft. Wow, okay, that's super soft. So that's the, what the mask looks like. How cute. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. It is wild to see my stuff on something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a print of that guy. I frame this one. Yeah, so it kind of looks like photo paper. And it is, wow, okay, so that is really nice. So yeah, you can get a print, that's pretty big. And then I got these stickers. I got the gouache bunny sticker, cute. One of those red guy stickers. I really love that one. And then I got them both huge. These are huge, I mean, these are the large size, <laughs> literally. So I feel like I can put that on some of my sketchbooks. I also got this little postcard, a baby seal painting. And I just got this because I want to hang it up. And I thought this would be like a little cheaper version of a print. And it is. It's so cute. I love how the colors came out. I love that. I'm going to hang that up for sure. So I just got out my swatch book. I've had this for a while, ever since I heard about the idea from Natasha Newton Art here on YouTube, just keeping one watercolor sketchbook for all of my art supplies when I get them and I want to swatch them somewhere, just to see how they work and get a feel for them. I'll do it here uh, as also sort of an encyclopedia of all of my <laughs> art supplies so I can go and look for just the right color. And I'm a multimedia artist, so I never mind if I need to go outside of whatever my plan was for the piece. If I was planning on using watercolor and a Posca pen looks like it has the right color, that's what I'm going to use. Speaking of which, these Posca pens were really lovely. The lilac was surprising and how beautiful it went out. This green, just plain green, was just such a beautiful green. I loved it. The light green was also very beautiful. It just came out a little fast, uh, as the Posca pens sometimes do. So. 
I needed to be a little bit more cautious with that. And then the cream here was really surprising. It's called beige, but I keep calling it cream because that's what it looks like to me. It was really beautiful and it showed up on the paper even without the black mark that I usually use to be able to see a white Posca pen or a white anything. I'll put a black mark of some kind to see how the white looks and how opaque it is. Now the Amazon basics here, these were super, super surprising. They did work beautifully. They pilled a lot more on the paper than the Posca pens did. And I guess that indicates that they're a little less wet. They have a little less paint flow than the Posca pens, but they were so bright. I loved that green. I thought the Amazon Basics green looked very similar to the light green. And the purple, the violet was gorgeous. The orange was so bright on the page. I just really enjoyed them. So I'm really excited about the fact that those Amazon Basics dupes worked so well and they did look really opaque. It's true, they were not as luscious and opaque as the true Posca pens, but they will do a good job. Look at that violet and the blue, so pretty. The green, gorgeous. The orange was like glowing. The pink and the red were very nice. The yellow was a little too yellow for me, <laughs> my style. So loved those. Then I just added my two new colors in my Windsor & Newton gouache to my gouache page. The Perylene Violet was stunning. I love that color. The gray is just a workhorse gray, beautiful neutral gray, just like the name says. But the Perylene Violet is like exciting. Look at the Perylene Violet. I, oh, I just can't wait. So here's my beautiful, I just wanted to give you the overview. Gorgeous lineup. Midway through, I realized the black caps are acrylic gouache. The white caps are soft body acrylic. You'll see me realize that. And I think when I was talking through it, during the whole part of this, the unboxing, I definitely got that wrong. <laughs> and I literally didn't realize until I had paintbrush out ready to make my swatches. So another good reason to have a swatch book, it's where you can make some of those silly mistakes, like those little marks on the bottom. That's where my light blue violet exploded and I just decided to doodle with it <laughs> uh, when I first got the paint a while ago. So I thought that the Brilliant Purple was one of the most fun paints to lay down that I've ever touched a brush with, just like the light uh, blue violet, very similar feeling paint. This peach was also just so delicious to put down on the page. So I really love these colors. They are opaque. The ultramarine, the bright aqua green, a couple of the colors, those two included, did look a little bit more like traditional acrylic than like acryl gouache or matte gouache paint but I don't mind because I do mix them a bunch and I don't think in the overall product they're going to be shiny. I think they're not going to look like shiny traditional acrylic in a painting and the colors themselves are so 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 pretty so I was really happy with this set. They are indeed all acrylic so they dry super fast which you can see with those little red dots and the little blue dots in my color wheel. Those just dried super quick before I could even mix them. In the future, I would mix on its own mixing tray, but I just was too lazy for this video. I just wanted to mix it right on the paper, and that's what I got. I got some dry paints. Look at that brilliant purple before we get off this page. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The burnt sienna was beautiful. It's all beautiful. So now we're getting into my, oh, the Kuretake paints. I need a moment because they're, they were just so wonderful. I know that I already kind of interjected and gave you a preview during the unboxing part where I just <laughs> sort of snipped in a little preview of these swatches here. But I was just really impressed with how these came out. I loved using them. I loved the palette itself. I thought it would be too bulky, but it was just really fun. It held down the opposite page really well. And that is, I was, you'll see, filling in on both the cover on the left outer frame and in my little um, in frame area at the same time. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. And until next time, remember, create something cute.